you see that? Pops collection? What is this? The yeah. crime! Oh, is that, that's all points. That's too. all points. Pre-1964. Silver. Oh my god. 0.999 pure silver. 338 auto. Where's that jewelry at? Yeah, for real. Look at that. We're back at this big old monster to keep digging through it. Remember, we paid $700 pulling out historical stuff after historical stuff, antique money, all kinds of stuff. And today, we're going to keep doing that. Come on. We got a new person now. Now we got an Ed. Ed? Oh, oh, oh. It's Ed, Ed, and Eddie stuff. Let's cut it open to see what it is. Come on. What you got, Ed? Jawbreakers and quarters? Uh, if you've never seen the show, you know, go watch it so you understand my references. Oh, look. Yeah, can I like, unpeel Maybe. that? <laughs> Let's see. Kitchen stuff. Kitchen stuff. More Ed. kitchen stuff. Ed, what is Ed the chef? I think Ed was the chef. So this box has cigar boxes on it, so I'm assuming it's cigar boxes. And that was a safe bet, huh? So let's see. I don't really know which ones are worth a lot of money. Some of them really are. This is a Brooks Grande Prima. Grande. 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 Sorry. <laughs> I want a tortilla. Sorry. <laughs> Brooks Grande Prima. I failed Spanish class in high school. Uh, another one. Look at all these in here. Oh, that one's got something in it. You hear that? There's something in it. So we have a really old cigar. We have a stencil because that's what goes in cigar boxes. We all know that. Come on, this is common sense. We know that stuff. And this whole thing is different cigar boxes. So no telling if that's worth money or junk. I tried searching on eBay and Macari and I cannot find any of these cigar boxes anywhere. So that either means they're super rare or they're such junk that nobody wants them. Maybe you guys know. The next box. Let's see what's inside this one. What does that even say? Oh. Roy's cabinet. All right, Roy. You had crystal in your cabinet last time. Let's see that this time. Listen for it. Listen for it. Crystal. Crystal in your cabinet. Now look at these. These are like some candle holders. We found one similar to this that everyone said were um, sterling plated. So they were bigger than that. So I don't think that's what they are. Let's open up one of these and just see what else we've got in there. What in the world is that? Uh, hmm. Do I touch it? I Ow! Don't do that! <laughs> What's this? Shot glass? Feels like a shot glass. More. A little thingy. One more, one more, one more. Let's open up something down below. This. Oh. Good boy. Well, they're like little candle holders. So, again, glassware, but there is some crystal mixed in there, so that's always good. Let's see what's in this little box now. Ugh, that big white box, by the way. I you saw it, nothing but files. Horrible. Is this more file? Just paper. Boom. And who said you could stand on the cart? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I, I don't think so. We got, is this new? Usher. Usher cologne, yay. No, no. It's brand new. Look at the Whoa. price tag. $65 for cologne. Wow. What about this one? Guess man. $45. Wow. Why do people spend this to temporarily smell good? $54. Is that in there? Yeah, okay. so you could tell by the weight. And this one, Christian something. something. $59. That's just, that's crazy to me. Whoa. I'll get my $3 brute from Reddit. Right <laughs> that's about all. Yeah, that's the same name as what's on one Look, of these. Look, yeah, it's 60 bucks. Why do people pay this much for this stuff? Why is this like mind blowing to me? Keep Kenneth Cole reaction. What's that? Does that have a price tag on Jeez. $68. What is going on here? There's another box. I see it. Some more Cologne. $48 Cologne. Cologne. Kenneth Klein. Um, Kenneth Cole. Whatever. Same <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh wait, there's brand new Adidas. Is it? Let's see. I'm gonna put these back in here since you know, this box is, we'll see that in a second. We know this box is kind of good. Why? And you put an old useless house phone in there. Seriously? No, you gotta go. Don't get confused with our good stuff. What is this thing? Well, first you got this. Chelsea Chesla. Football Club. Does the tag have the price on? They ripped it off. Must have been a gift. Yeah, it's probably a gift. <laughs> this is where your gifts go. 
to the storage. So the same with that one, look. Tags ripped off. Boo. But it looks like the same thing. So two of these that are brand new, along with all that cologne. What is this? And what's in that envelope? I don't know. The envelope is... You said we'll see that in a second. Well, keys. Some keys. They're not even cut yet, look. So they might be sellable. So check this box out. If you've seen the other parts, you know we found a lot. Hey, these are little cases for them. Like a lot of these very historic slides. And I was like, there's gotta be something out there that'll allow you to see them. And then I lifted it up and check that out. It's the Kodak audio visual. It's the slide projector and it's in there. These are like new by the way. This can air, sweet, we needed this. Yeah. <laughs> but that'll allow us to project the images that were on all the slides we found. A lot of historic ones, like early 1900s, 1800s. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what it goes for anymore, but it's cool. So I punched the model number in the eBay to see what they recently sold for. And look at that, $140 for this ancient piece of technology. This is why you look up everything. So I just moved the last box against the wall, which is this one. Nothing but books. And again, this is like the 100 box of books. And I finally saw our first bug, a spider ran out of there. I could hear his little voice say, what are you doing? I've been here for eight generations. Coming out of there. No telling how long, it's not that funny. No telling how long it's been in there, but amazingly, that's the first bug I've seen. All right, so this box here says LPs again, LPs and CDs. So let's hope they're some good artists. Let's get us an Elvis and some Beatles and some, who else would we look for in this? Michael Jackson. I can't even think right now. I know, it's like so hot and my body's so exhausted at this point, but you know, it's gotta get done. Ew. You want that? No. You can lay on it tonight. Please don't. Sure? It's mold on it. I don't want it. It's mold and dust for you. The first thing I say is, let's get this out the way. The band, the last weight. House $51 for the first record I looked up. Let me just go through a couple. It's a beautiful day. Uh, I'm not recognizing any of these. America. Yeah, I'm not recognizing any of these people. Are you recognizing any of these people? No, I can't really see them, to be honest. Oh, come on. Christopher, Christopher Cross, Cross. Crosby, Stills, and Ash. I've heard those. Okay, yeah. I'm, like, completely lost. I don't know who any of these people are. Star Wars. Oh, well. I don't know who any of them are, but I do know their records, and we got a bracket. Let's get the little white box out. But before I open it, guys, I need you to just take half a second, please. I don't know why I put two up and just like the video and please just share it. You know, just click the little share button. Doink, two seconds. And you help us out a lot. So let's see what's in here. A cell phone case. This looks like a little basket where you put a bunch of stuff that you don't want to throw away, but you don't know what to do with. What is this? Oh, more glasses. What kind of glasses are these? <laughs> Maybe mm. you just throw them mm. on your nose real quick. Ow. That just kind of hurt my head. Ooh, look what I see. Seiko. Oh, Psycho, sorry. Oh, it might be in there. Might be. I it think might it be. Just... <laughs> you didn't see nothing. You didn't see <laughs> that. Still in the box. Is there a receipt Ooh, that Not that I see. Yeah. What is this right here? Look at this. Slide open for a compartment warranty. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know how to do all that, but... And looky, looky here, what that watch has fetched on eBay. <laughs> a psycho? No, I like call them psycho watches better. Psycho watch. What's in here? Oh, this is a security square. All, All right. right, you're secure now. Yay. Square says so. Uh, what is this? Thing? All right, we'll get in that in a second. Let's see, envelopes. Looks like an interesting box. It does, that's why I said I gotta wait a second. Streamer. Ooh, that looks interesting too. All right, let's see. Let's open the big one first and the little one. What do you think's in there? Men's jewelry. Whoa. Okay. Uh, kind of. <laughs> it's like a belt, let's just say. I soar at the eagle, I follow the buffalo, the great spirit <clears throat> guides my path. It's a belt buckle, but it doesn't say what it's made of. Check that out, though. It's like a Native American. That's pretty cool. <gasps> I found a gun in the box. <laughs> Look at that deadly thing. Another watch face. What kind of watch is that? Caraville or something? Hmm, does this come out? No. So whatever's in here is all that's in here. There's a little button. A little token. It says car wash. And let's see, some cards and this is a very random box. All right, it has a couple cool little things in there, but it's kind of very random. Now let's see what's in this little box. I'm gonna have to cut this one open, I think. Let's slice the plastic. 
Let's just open. Open. It's like just not having it. All right, there we go. Now we got enough of a rip. We can do this. What do you think's in this one? Same thing. Mm. What is that? Oh. A mermaid, a fish. fish. What's, What's in that? here? A little button. Uh, look at that ring. I bet you that's gonna be silver because it has those turquoise rocks in it. They like to put that with silver a lot. I can't see a marking, but I bet you it is. Oh, look, some coins. Money and gun. Bunch of pennies. That's it, unfortunately. It's like a bunch of like teaser things in here that are like really cool if they were more, but because they're not, it's just kind of meh. Check out this super heavy angel right here. You see it? It's like made of, I don't even know, but it's so heavy. Should I just drop it and forget about it? Yeah. All right. I'm just kidding, it's plastic. God, don't lie, you fell <laughs> for it. You fell for it. And then we have, well, whatever that is. A couple of these. Twine. Look like, what? Twine. Twine. I can't think. Carrier. I don't know. <laughs> rope. I was about to say rope. What we is just, that? We, ha we found that before. Look. Make, Make out, out artist. Ooh. Uh-oh. And styrofoam. So we moved another quarter million boxes or so, and I finally came across two boxes that look interesting again. This one says jewelry can, and this one says jewelry equipment. So I went ahead and cut this one open. Let's see what we got in here, and then we'll cut that one open. So this is, okay, yeah, I don't know what kind of jewelry they're making here. That's junk, but those do look like jewelry boxes. Let's see what this is first. I have like so much writing on it. Went to Amanda's, we'll be bike riding, be home at five. All right, you better be. Uh, it looks like more like equipment to make it again. We found some of that in the other part. What's in the little box here? Is that a little mini jewelry box? Oh, upside down. Caught that, ninja reflexes. Ooh, look at all those little pieces. Look at all those. No telling what could be gold in here right now. Like, I don't even think I'd be able to look and concentrate right now. I'm so exhausted. You know, whoa, look at these pieces in here. There's a lot in there. There's a ring. We've been literally moving these boxes for like eight hours so far. It's about to be nine hours. They close in an hour, then we got to go finish tomorrow. What's in this? It's definitely marked, but I can't see what it is right now. All right, so that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Let's see what this is. That just looks like whatever crap this is, like bathroom stuff. This is the big boy, though. What do you think's in this one? Jewelry. Yeah, that's definitely a jewelry box. Kiss me. I don't smoke. I don't. <laughs> um, hey, a buffalo nickel. And a couple pairs of earrings. What about the bottom drawer? Ooh, what's that? Nothing? Really? Look, it's just an empty little thing. It's only a one drawer, right? Yep, that's it. So, we might have some gold in this box. Let's set these aside. Now let's go into this one. That's also jewelry. Do I still have the knife with me? No. I lost it. Wait. I got you. Okay, good. You give me a second to wipe all the sweat off my face, too. <laughs> 97 degrees plus terrible humidity, man. All right, let's see what's in this one. It says jewelry, too. Oh, no. Okay, so the first thing we see is... I don't even know. A box and a shell. Yeah, a shell in there, okay. Ooh, look, you see that? Yep. It's a tackle box, it says jewelry. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Let's set that aside for a second. This is a plug-in frost. All right, whatever that means. What is this big old thing? Like, there's so many things where I'm like, what? No idea. <laughs> I have no idea either. Okay, I don't know what any of this stuff is. There's a little book in here too. Nothing in it. Let's see if this is telling the truth. Do we have some jewelry in here? Jewelry making equipment, huh? Which way is it going? This way? Oh, I mean, there's some little pieces hey, in there. Without a doubt. Hey, is that a ring sizer? Yeah. Sweet, so now we have one of those. This looks like little pieces. A lot of, like I said, jewelry, they definitely made their own. So that's why I think we have so much equipment along with random pieces of jewelry. Look at they're like little coins almost. So again, both boxes, unfortunately, were not jewelry, just jewelry making equipment. So I tossed this box aside because it looked like it was mostly paper, and then I noticed this box was in here, so I opened it up. And check this out. Unfortunately, whatever that is not in here, but it says Medal of Honor on the box. But unfortunately, inside of it's like a bunch of like crafting stuff. So 
I don't know if this is the box that's actually supposed to contain the metal or they just kind of put this on their own box. If somebody knows what that box is supposed to look like, make sure you let us know. So I just moved a bunch more boxes and look what I uncovered, a metal box. Do you think it's a safe or what do you think it is? I don't know. I hope it's a safe. I can't really see what it is, but I guess we're gonna have to figure that out a little later in this video. Ooh, like the random shirt change, huh? That's because, well, you know, we were doing this for nine hours yesterday, it was hot. We needed to go back to the hotel and sleep. But we got a bunch of Christmas stuff out the way and I got to the first one of these briefcase things right here. Well, this just looks like a regular briefcase. This one is not metal like the other two we pointed out, but it still looks interesting. Which way should I open it? This uh, I would turn it over. All right. Could be wrong. <laughs> if it all falls out now, it's your fault. Yep. Oh, it's like a art portfolio thing, isn't it? <clears throat> Looks like it. Yeah. Like, what is that? A hand doing something. Okay. And, <laughs> yeah, this whole thing is just somebody else's art. So we just took out like three more trees worth of paperwork and files, unfortunately. <laughs> but I did uncover the black box, and look what it is. That's 100% a Brinks home safe, but we're not getting into that yet. Look. That thing is locked, so we're probably just gonna slam it on the ground in a few minutes. Yeah. That, that makes it more exciting. But I saw some cool things over here. Check this out. I didn't know what this was exactly. Look. Ooh. It's like a giant crystal ball. <laughs> now, I don't really know what it purpose is besides being a giant crystal ball. I mean, I guess that's good enough purpose, right? Hold you know what? Is you it, believe in you. Is it glass? It's glass. What is? So, like, I was like, I don't even know what to think of this, it, but it's a giant no. crystal ball. You're a gazing globe. Oh, well, all right then. That thing, and there's a couple boxes that I saved to open up because I know it's stuff that you guys always like buying from. It's like this one. See what it says? The rocks and rock polishing gear. Haven't even cut it yet. So let's hope it's some like geodes slash gems slash stuff like that. I like that stuff. Yeah, that stuff's just cool to look at. So let's see if that's what it is or not. I see a track bag. Maybe a good sign, I don't know. See some dirt. Dirt's a good sign. <laughs> well, that's a broken picture for him. All right. Oh, they trolled us, didn't they? See any box? No. They completely trolled us. Why well, did it seem like the so, boxes? What happens when you pull your nose, PD nose? Well, I guess it's this. Uh oh. This is art. Yeah, <laughs> art. How come all the boxes like I want to have the good stuff that's labeled, those are the ones that are labeled incorrectly. Okay, there's that one, but then look at this one too. This one says copper collection and old knives. So that was another one I figured we should probably keep sealed. This one's super heavy. What's the price of copper right now? I know it's high. I have no idea. Let's see. If that's what's in here. Oh, don't you play with me. Don't you play with me. No. Why is there all this paper oh. in here? There's a box in there. Is it? Yeah, they all use right. shredded paper as packing. Uh, Paxes. Gross. Oh, there's a lot of boxes in there here. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Pops collection? Oh, yeah. Let's uh -oh, see what's what in is here. In now that? I'm excited. Oh. Now I'm excited. I need some excitement because moving <laughs> tons of files and books and 97 degree weather. Oh my gosh. It's takes horrible. its toll on your body. I thought I was young. And good. Now I'm excited. Yeah, now I'm excited. Because this is a small tape box, like it has to have that in it. Yeah, come on. But what kind of collection? Yeah, that's what I was saying. It could be like a collection of papers. I like collected tiles. Ooh, it looks good. <laughs> Let's see. A, a little box with a bunch that, of other little boxes. This Sterling. This is stainless. That's a sport. It's probably got some weird sentimental value. Probably. What is this? <laughs> The yeah! Coins! What did we say the earlier? Coins! What did I say in the other video? I knew they were coming eventually. Yes. Oh look, so we have Morgan dollars. These are like 20 bucks in silver alone. So we have quite a few Ike dollars, Kennedy half dollars. Was that a silver one? What's the year on that? 1968, I think it's part silver. There's a proof set from, it's a bicentennial proof set with the Ike dollars and half dollars all bicentennial coins that's what's up now we're talking now we're talking baby i knew these were in here somewhere oh that, that's all coins that's too. all coins that is all ink money oh, yes. yay worth it baby in the back 
Look in, at how much stuff we have left. Yeah, look in the back of the unit. See, that's how it's supposed to be. These are super old silver quarters, 1936 Whoa. on that quarter. Look. You're the back. Yeah, let me take it out. Yeah, it's hard to focus in the bag. <sighs> See, look at the, what that one's, uh, oh, it's a, gosh, I forgot the name of it. It's an older quarter. Dude, I'm psyched right now. Yeah. You don't understand, <laughs> look at my face. Like, I've just been High dying five. in the heat. High five. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. Oh, these are, oh my Whoa. God, they're all Ben Franklin dollars. They're silver. <laughs> yes, please come on out. Please all be all silver. 50, oh no, these are some half dollars. Dang it, but still, they're still 1964. These are silver too. These are all silver coins. 1964 in the thing, all silver. <laughs> this. You called this. I called that. I You're just, like, he has to collect coins. He has coins. coin collection. He's just that, he just seemed like that kind of guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, see this is makes it all worth it to drive. These are some foreign coins which may or may not be silver. I don't know about foreign coins. This one, also some foreign coins. Let's see, we have more US foreign. Oh Whoa. my God. These are all United States, baby. Come on, be all <laughs> silver, be all silver. Listen, you That's see what that lot. sounds like? That sounds like silver. Pull it all out. I'm gonna. Let's see, so we have some, these, this is the Bicentennial one, I could tell you from the back of it. Yes, 76. So some of the, these are all either Bicentennial or no, some of these are just half dollars, just regular half dollars. Not silver? No, they're from the 70s, most of them. The Ike dollars, there's something silver in here, I don't know what. It just sounds like, it. maybe not, maybe I just don't know what the heck I'm talking about. The year too, 1964. But yeah, no, I don't see anything in silver in there. But it's alright, we already pulled out a crap ton. Look what else is in that box, too. How many boxes are in oh, this dear. big box? Yeah. Woo! We did it. We did <laughs> it. We freaking did it. This is what we were put all those sweaty hours in for. These are some coins. Foreign coins again. What are these? Ooh, what's the Pre 1964. Silver! <laughs> silver. Listen, listen to that. Old, Old silver, silver coins. coins. Alright, so first. You got some newspaper clippings in there. Wait, look, what year is that thing? I don't know. Let's it's see. Too tiny. If you don't feel like unfolding it, don't. Yeah, well, I'll leave it, it in here just in case it's something of historical significance. That's empty. Let's see what we have in here. Oh yeah, look at that. 1960, 1969. These are all silver. Same with the quarter. I don't know what this one is, but the fact he put it in there. Oh, what is that? 1944. It's not American. But the fact that he put it in the envelope labeled silver coins, some reason that tells me it's probably silver coins. So let's pack this box back up and head on to the next one. I just wanted to go ahead and sit down because I feel like it's gonna be a nice long clip, hopefully. What is this thing? Okay. That's oh, a kind pies. of weird <laughs> weird part of your collection, Pop. Um, is that silver? I don't know. What is it though? I wonder where it would say on that kind of stuff. I don't know. We'd have to test it. That could be silver. I don't know. This, oh look down here, hold on. There's that a uh, barber quarter? Yeah, look. These are silver too. And then this is a, just an old buffalo nickel, that's not silver. So let's see. These are all mercury dimes, silver, five or six of them right there. Oh my God, I see bills in there too. All right, so this right here, I don't even know. This is like some jewelry. And some old buttons. Let's see if the buttons say anything on them. Let's see if they have any type of historical significance to them. Nope. They don't say anything on them. They just have some pictures. I doubt this camera's gonna be able to focus on something that small, but we're gonna try. As long as it's in your hand, it's good. You can see that? All right, yeah. so somebody recognizes that, let us know. In your hand and not in the bag. What's this? I can see it. <laughs> good. Come out. Oh. Oh. Look at that old thing. That could definitely be gold, especially this age. Let's see what brand it is. It says Rickenbach. Why does that sound so familiar? Harrisonburg, Pennsylvania. And on here it says, it has the number 5664278. I don't even know if it would be marked if, gold, if it was gold or not. So I don't know how to feel, but either which way, it's old and cool, no doubt. Let's put that over here. Look at all these bills we have here. Are these all foreign currency or what? So we have this 
these are in pretty bad shape some of these Philippines what is that one can you tell um Cinco Banco Espana that's just Spain Philippines yen yeah I don't think there's gonna be any US currency in here but all these <laughs> coins and currency will 100% be at our next live auction we have so if you're into this kind of stuff make sure you show up drop the coin you gotta make sure you grab that yeah because seriously everything's silver I don't even know where it went but we'll find it before we leave some more foreign coins in that bag this whole thing here is foreign coins so let me just go ahead and like I don't know why it's just sitting open like that when you have a top for it I don't know Let's go ahead and close that and keep it safe. Oh, maybe that's that. why it doesn't fit. Oh yeah, it does. No. What? Nothing. I was about to say we gotta put the notes back in there. Oh, this is so exciting right now. What is that then? Bolo tie. All right. Ooh, what's that? It's like marbles. Hmm. Let's see. It is marbles. Are they like vintage marbles or something? Do we have any marble experts in the comments? <laughs> <laughs> How can you tell? I don't know. Let's see. Let's put the mech in here. But we always, weirdly enough, I always get asked by somebody every time we have an auction or all the times in the comments, do you have any marbles? So apparently people look for them. What do you These got? These are at the bottom. Um, that's a Bicentennial Kennedy half dollar and then a 1943 steel war penny. So those, this says top on it. Ooh, you ready? Oh my God, they're all Morgan dollars, aren't they? They're all Morgan dollars. Put that back in there. I am. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. So we have an 1891. We'll flip this one over. 1891, 1880, 1883, 1889, 1886. They're all from the 1800s. Look at that. I mean, at a bare minimum and just silver weight, they're like 20 bucks a piece. So obviously, if I scrapped them, which I would not do because they're worth a lot more than their scrap weight, that would be a $100 box right there. But. <laughs> They're worth more than that. This is what we came for. <laughs> this is what you hope to find in every storage unit. Yes. You gotta dig through the trap. Oh. Is that gold? It is gold. I was gonna say it has to be. Come 14 on. karat gold. 14 karat gold necklace right there. Alright. Now we talking. We pretty much paid for our whole unit already, I think. We're, oh for real. With this for box. Sure. No doubt. What is this? Oh. Check these out, look. They're still sealed, they're like golden dollars. I don't think they're, they're not your regular gold dollars either. These are something different. Tree for you, a coin history of US presidents. Now I don't even know if these five are the only ones in there. This could very well be like a, it is, I can tell you. I can feel them. There's coins within this book too. It's not just those coins at the front. So I don't even know how many gold dollars are in there, but there's a lot. Belt buckle. Let's see what's in this. Does it say anything on it? Uh, Mexico. I don't know. Alpaca. What do you think's in this? Uh, good stuff. Pins. Ooh, this could be like old, uh, what do you call it? Political pins. Look at this. This is inauguration, January 20th, 1953, of Dwight Eisenhower as president. Now that is so cool. Ask me about tires, Amco, and stuff. So this looks like old pins. Uh, let's see if there's any other like political ones, Humphrey. Because political ones are the ones people are after. Prince George County, licensed taxi driver. <laughs> Alright, let's see what these are over here. Hey, look, there's Nixon. Nixon, Andrew. There's is that um Harry Truman right here. So all kinds of different political pins in here. That's super cool. That is super, super cool. Let me shut this without it going everywhere. Set that right over here. Where do I go from here? Well, I, I could tell you what these are going to be. These are some kind of proof sets. Classic coins of America. Replica coins. Whoa, look at that. So these are like modern day replicas of super valuable coins. Well, let's see what the card says. It just fell out. I was about to say, I wonder if it has any information. 1877 Indian head penny. This composition is, uh, I don't know if this is the composition of this coin or the original. It says 0.88% copper and 0.12% nickel. Huh. No, this is 9.999 pure silver. <laughs> Certificate of authenticity. Wow. 0.999% pure 
pure silver. Nice. Wow. All right. So we have next. three of them. <laughs> Let's open the next one. What is that one? That's the buffalo nickel. And we could probably assume the same thing. There's a card in there too, just for the certificate. Look behind here. Yeah, it is. I see it. Okay. I don't want it to fall out. I just want to make sure we have the authenticity things for it. Yep. And this one is the Morgan. That is beautiful. Nice. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I was hoping for when I Can bought I get this another? unit. Mm, how about no? <laughs> I want like three. Jeez. And what is this? Nine. The people of the state of New York, to all whom presents a shell concern. This is like something from the governor of New York in 1981. Hmm. All right. Not that old. See that? Genuine coin collection? Yep. Let's see what that is. Uh, these are like the wartime coins. They, they're slightly came out. Look, it's all coins from World War II, but look, they've slightly slid out. So it means the dime is going to be silver, the penny is going to be the 43 wartime penny, and then just a wartime nickel. So again, it is more silver though. So we'll take that, but the pennies are steel. What is this? Ooh, <laughs> old bank envelope. I don't even know what that is. It just fell out. I don't know. See it? I'll, I'll look at it while you say it. Oh my God. These are all Susan B. Anthony coins. Yeah, look. They're just all Susan B. Anthony's. Now that's pretty cool. Now we have the biggest box within the little box. Actually, there's a couple more little bags here. Hold on just a second. What are all these? These are all foreign coins. So, this is like a capital transit coin. It says uh, Fair of District of Columbia or something on the back. That's kind of cool. So look down here, we just have good coins laying around. We have wartime pennies, silver dimes, buffalo nickel, Bicentennial, half dollars. There's three, um, I can't believe I just forgot the name of it. I just said it earlier. The dime, Mercury dimes. So that's, so the Mercury dimes are silver at least. Here, put that up. Let's see what's in this little box here. Oh my goodness, I see coins, baby. Coins, coins, coins for days. Oh my goodness. Eisenhower dollar collections. Look at that. They're beautiful. Look at the front. I didn't even notice it had a front. Oval Office Collection. Oh, yes. Kennedy Half Dollar Collection. Is it upside down? Yeah. It's designed stupidly. Because, look, you see this? Yeah. And then if you turn it around, it would be upside down. Yeah, but I think it's supposed to be like Display show it thing. this way and then flip it that way. All right. Oh, so, look at these quarters. They're all silver. Or at least. It's from 1930. No, they're not all silver. I'm lying. What you have, these are silver. These are bicentennials. And those are 1981s. I don't really know why that one's specifically in there. But so those are 1981. Yeah. And that is it for this little box. But keep in mind, we have like, I don't even know how many more boxes that are in this box. And I don't even know what they can be. Now let's pull out the envelope that's in this box here. Let's see what's in here. This is actually a lot of pictures and cards and things like that. I'm not seeing any money or coins in this one, but I do see their passport, so we'll make sure they get that stuff back, along with the pictures and things like that. So let's put that away. There's a couple more boxes. Let's go to this one first. Uh, Pops 1997 to 1998. I hope it's not tax papers, but it could be. Let's just slice this box on open and see if it's tax papers or if it's something else. Ah, I think it's gonna be tax papers. But you know what I'm saying, thinking now? If that's no. what's in the box, what do you think's in the safe? I don't know. Look, that's tax papers. Let's see what this is. That's a picture, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, hmm, I don't even know, that's a cool picture. There's that. This says slides, is it like those little things we found before? Yeah, these things before. So we found a thing that can actually display those, so that's going to be kind of interesting. What's this? That was just kind of laying in there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hey baby. <laughs> oh. 338 Auto. But you know what? I think it's a BB. I really do. It doesn't feel too light. <sighs> I think it's, it feels too light to be real. This is metal though, but the slide doesn't even work. So, 
Yeah, I think this is our BB gun. Is there anything else in there? Ah. Crossman, it's an air gun. It's a BB. I can tell, I was like, the slide doesn't work. It's too light. Nah. But, it's still a gun. So, I'll take it. Uh, what's that? I put that down there. <laughs> Here's the slides. And let's see what else is in here. This thing, whatever this is. This might looks like it could be pictures. No, it's papers. And oh, there's some like old papers in there though. So let's see what kind of stuff we can find in there. If there's anything of any significance or if it's just personal stuff. Let's just open one of these old envelopes here. And it says, dun, 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 it's from 1958. But yeah, it's just, it's just personalized stuff they kept over the years. So let me look at one more like this. It looks like it's gonna be the same thing. Yep, just personal stuff. So one box of loaded coins, a gun, and a bunch of paperwork. You know what? I call that a jackpot. I'm on that incomparable storage unit high right now. So let me point something out. Look down there. There's not only the one safe, there's a second one because we're about to smash this thing open. But first, there's these two like briefcase things behind it and I kind of want to see what's in these and we're smashing the safe. I know I already said this once guys, but if you haven't already, could you please leave this video a like? It really helps us out a lot. And just give it a share. This is cool stuff. This is what it's all about. This is what we thrive for in storage units. And it looks like these are going to be pictures, aren't they? Yep, same stuff. Just weird pictures and stuff. So that probably means that's the same thing the other one is too, but just to be sure, let's pop it open. Yeah, more art stuff like that. Can't get it open. Eh. Yeah, artwork, stuff like that. Not interesting, so let's put that here. Now, number one. Oh, does it doesn't feel that heavy. Oh, but it's not empty, hear that? Yep. How do we get into these safe? Hmm, how do you think we should get into it? <laughs> Dang. Did that work? We need to hit it on the corner. It didn't quite work. Let's try it again. It's bending it. It's bending it. Alright, I'm about to slam it. Alright. Oh! oh! Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Hold on. Whoa, look at this one. That's a Confederate States of America $500 bill. Whoa. It's like hand signed. So I went ahead to eBay to look up the price of the $500 Confederate bills and look at this craziness. This one's not gonna grade too high because it's dirty, but still, that's insane. Now that's crazy. Hold up. Let's see what the folded one in here is. What is that bill? What does it say? Well, Lincoln, I can't tell. Ah, I can't see. The Confederate. Oh, so it's not Lincoln. It looks like Lincoln, but it's not. I don't think no. Lincoln would be part of the Confederacy. No, does it? What does it say at the bottom? It's like a city. Um, Richmond. Yeah. They're both from Richmond, of course. The capital of the Confederacy, yay, where we live. <laughs> Not. Let's see, the Japanese government. More Japanese money. Hold on. Dang, look at all this. There's more in there, so. Well, some foreign money. See any more. more Japanese money. Is this another Confederate bill? Yep, look. Confederate States of America. Hundred. That's crazy. So we have like six hundred fifty bucks in Confederate money over here. Um, pesos, Canada. That's old Canadian money. I've been to Canada the last few years before COVID. That's not what their money looks like now. Uh -uh. They look like Monopoly money. <laughs> <laughs> A lot better than our plain green. So it's more pesos. What's this one? Is this another Confederate bill? I did not want to rip this, but it's now. What is that? What does that even say? Can you read it? Uh, Sunder to Lynn Mark? I don't know. I don't some, know some either. Kind of bank note. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Then we have a bunch of these little ones down here. All right, now what's this? Open, open, open. Oh my God, we have another one. <laughs> oh, this is just a newspaper article. And this is just a bunch of signed papers. And we have, this is what you usually find in safes, just this kind of junk. That, the rest of it is what you expect to find in a safe, just paperwork. Who would have thought I'd find another box full of what I like to call 2020 gold, guys? Look at this. Whoa. Yeah. 
Nate, no one wiping the booty hole in my city because I'm buying it all because I have like some type of mental disorder. And those are the only people that did that. Before I smashed open the other safe, it would just pulled out. I do want to point out these two little cool Snoopy banks we found. Look at this. They look super old. I know we have a lot of peanut fans out there, so check that out. You see wood? Oh, this one's not even a bank. Hmm. I can't tell what he's made of. He looks like wood, but I can't tell. Hmm. The one, other one, I thought they were both the same thing, but they're not. This one looks like he has a bank seal. This one's ceramic, look. And he's yeah. got like a bank slot on his head. So one's like an old, just like figure, and one's an old bank. And now, the fun part, round two. Usually you get one, smash one safe every 20 or so units. <laughs> you don't get to smash two in one. No. You know? Ready, body of death. Easy work. This one looks like a lot of paperwork, though. Let's see. Gotta go through it, though. So this is ins health insurance stuff, instruction manuals, mail. What's in the envelope? Uh, vehicle titles. This is normal crap. This is how most safes are. Nothing. Marriage certificate. Make sure they get that back. Papers. Reserve your future treasures of ancient Egyptian sculptures now. What is that though? It's like, I was just trying to get them to buy stuff. This, what does that say? Jewelry appraisals. Ooh. Holy doo doo. I wonder if that's really what it's <laughs> worth. Look what the price is. Where is that jewelry at? Yeah, for real. Where's that at? Is there money in here? Do you have the 14K in here? No, this is just the appraisal. Huh, I wonder where it's at. I wonder if it's in the jewelry we have. Uh, just more notes. Yeah, I wonder if it's in the jewelry that like they made. I don't know. Here's the passport, uh, bank card. They'll get this whole box back if there's nothing interested in it. Driver's licenses, another passport. Same old, same old. This is how 99% of safes are for real in this business, guys. If you're thinking about buying storage units, this is how 90% of them are. I'll say 99% of them are. Yeah, I think this one's paperwork all the way up. There's one more, a couple of envelopes at the bottom. Maybe we can get lucky with some more currency. Let's see. Um, no, I'm just seeing papers. Uh, is this got birth certificates? Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that's in 90% of them. Is that it? That is all that's in this safe. Remember in the first video I pointed out that the former owner of this unit was arrested for identity theft? I find that a little disturbing to be written on the front of the envelope, just saying. And the fact that the two of the passports are like not even the same last name is also a little disturbing. I mean, I'll tell the front desk exactly that, that they were in here and we're supposed to return that stuff. I don't think it's theirs, but it's up to them what they want to do with it. I'm not dealing with it. I'm really not. We only had 48 hours to go through this entire unit, so you only saw some of it. If you want to see more details, a lot more of these boxes, make sure you go down to the description, click the link to our second channel, and subscribe because there's going to be quite a few videos coming out this week. So be ready, guys.